Hey, what's going on everyone? Brandon Keith Avery here for my review on Guardians of the Galaxy trailer number two. So Guardians of the Galaxy is directed by James Gunn who directed the movie Slither and Super 8. If you haven't seen those two movies, I strongly suggest you subscribe to Netflix and go check them out because those movies are incredible. And after seeing this trailer of Guardians of the Galaxy, I couldn't be more excited. Now, to be honest with you, I know little to none about Guardians of the Galaxy. I've only read one of their comics and only know them from Avengers Earth Mightiest Heroes when they stopped by for a few episodes there and an uh, episode that they stopped in on the Ultimate Spider-Man on the Disney Channel. What gets me excited about Guardians of the Galaxy is it's different. It's not taking place on Earth or in our solar system. It's clear across the universe in some other galaxy. Now, if you wanted to compare the Guardians of the Galaxy to another superhero team, of course, that can be the Avengers, and you could call them, I guess, the Space Avengers. To me, I mean, it looks like these are five selfish individuals that must come together to defeat some big badass bad guy, possibly by the name of Ronan the Accuser. In this trailer, we do get a ton of new footage. Uh, we don't just get an introduction. We do get to see Rocket Raccoon talk, who is voiced by Gra uh, Bradley Cooper. We also get to see Dave Bautista's character, Drax the Destroyer, and all the other characters as well. A new character that we do get to see this time is Glenn Close. I think she's the leader of the Nova Corp Corporation, which I know little to nothing about, as I stated, but I mean, it's Glenn Close, and I'm pretty surprised that she chose to do a role in a Marvel film, let alone Guardians of the Galaxy, but the short, brief second that we did catch her in the trailer, she looked like she'll be a great addition to the cast, and I can't wait to see her. Her. Someone else that I was looking forward to seeing a lot more in the second trailer was Benicio Del Toro as the collector. We did get a glimpse of new footage. It was just him going like this, like he was happy about something. Maybe he collected some new type of artifact that he's excited about and can't wait to get his hands on. I don't know. So we didn't really get to see him. Um, we only got to see a new glimpse of him. Uh, the soundtrack for this uh, this movie is seems like it's getting better and better each time. For the first, the first trailer, we had Hooked on a Feeling, which is in this trailer as well. But we also have Spirit in the Sky with this trailer. And at the beginning of the trailer, we see Peter Quill, a.k.a. Star-Lord, says that he's from Earth, a place full of outlaws. And I'm really concerned with what he really means by that. I mean, we know that Earth is full of outlaws. That's why we have the Avengers and the S.H.I.E.L.D. and things like that. But I want to know from his perspective of why he feels like Earth is full of outlaws. As you know, I'm real curious to know how James Gunn is going to pull off Rocket Raccoon's character. There have been interviews stating that James Gunn says that Rocket Raccoon is the heart of the movie and saying that it's a talking, walking raccoon that has a machine gun voiced by Bradley Cooper. I'm just really curious to see, you know, how they tackle that. I'm pretty sure they'll do a great job. Like I said, he looks great in the trailer. I really like it at the end where they show Rocket Raccoon toting the big gun over his shoulder and he's scratching the nuts. He also says, ain't no thing, ain't no thing like me except for me, which is why he's possibly angry, which I heard he's a very angry character. I mean, he was experimented on by the alien race decree, taken apart, put back together. There's no one else like him. I'll be pretty pissed off about that too. I'm also excited to see Groot played by Vin Diesel. He's doing the motion capture behind this character. And Groot only says, I am Groot. He says it with different tones and inflections that apparently mean something else. And to my understanding, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments section. I think when he says, I am Groot, it only sounds like that to human ears or to certain alien races, but possibly with his home, you know, it's, it, you know, I don't know, they're bad, but a decipher between words, I'm not entirely sure. They'll probably, you know, explain that in the movie. Just gives me another reason why I'm just looking forward to it. But overall, I'm really excited to see um, this film. You got Zoe, Zoe Saldana as Gamora. Uh, she's played a blue creature in Avatar. Now she's playing a green creature in Guardians of the Galaxy. Dave Bautista, which is a huge beast, he looked like he's about to kick someone's ass. The most that I'm really looking forward to seeing is Ronan the Accuser, played by Lee Pace. Um, he made an epi He showed up in the episode two of the Council Avengers Earth Mightiest Heroes that was on uh, the Disney Channel last year. And he's quite powerful, very powerful. Um, I mean, he... He landed some nice um, hits with the Hulk. We see in the trailer that he has uh, Dave Bautista's Drek the Destroyer in a chokehold, like he's about to slam him down. 
So I really can't I really can't wait to see what's going on there. But I'm possibly jumping around here. Something else that I'm looking forward to, Rocket Raccoon. It says in this character that he made a joke saying, uh, you know, my lifespan is that long anyway. I don't know if he's joking or if it's really short because he was, you know, engineered on, but we'll just have to see. But I'm really excited about this trailer. Uh, you know, th this is the biggest risk from uh, Marvel. No one really knows about Guardians of the Galaxy except for the Daha comic book fans. I'm, you know, kind of in the middle there. I don't know much about them, but I'm really excited to hear about them. So what are you excited about? What was your favorite part in the trailer? Let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, thank you for tuning in. If you agree with me, if you think it's great or if you think it's horrible, just let me know in the comments. Be honest. Give me that thumbs up. Go ahead and click on that subscribe button. Share it with the world. I don't mind. And before you go, don't forget that my name is Brandon Keith Avery. And that's just my opinion. Peace.